Canada, which stands for the Canadian Life and Health Insurance Association of Canada. And this group uh, is made up of a membership of the insurance companies, and it also has groups uh, represented by the physical therapists, the chiropractors, massage therapists, podiatrists, podiatrists, chiropodists, um, that are uh, invited to an annual meeting to review some general guidelines. So these are not rules, these are guidelines. Insurance companies do not have to abide by them, but at the same time, the insurance companies are the ones who have created them. And based on that document, a very quick review of prescribers versus dispensers. Um, your understanding of this is absolutely essential to understanding how to move through the insurance world. So a prescriber is the one who writes the prescription. Uh, so it would be akin to me going to my family doctor with a sinus infection. My family doctor writes a prescription for an antibiotic. I take it to the pharmacist, the pharmacist dispenses it. So the family physician is the one who writes the prescription on the form for orthotic and footwear. They must write the diagnosis as well as the treatment. If your patient brings you a prescription that only has the diagnosis, I highly recommend you send them back to get the treatment written on there because the chances of denial are pretty high and people are disappointed when they get an envelope in the mail thinking it's going to be a check and instead it's a denial letter. Um, who can prescribe? Well, CLIA, the CLIA guide, guidelines recommend medical doctors, DPMs or podiatrists, chiropodists, um, and orthopedic surgeons. We've seen also pedorthists included on that list, um, but by no means does that mean that chiropractors, um, orthotists, RMTs, certified athletic therapists uh, are not prescribers. Uh, there are many, many plans that have a more expansive list, which will lead to the next um, point in about five minutes about calling the insurance company and getting accurate information before you even start putting this together for your patient. So if you are not on the list of prescribers, don't worry. Uh, you've got basically three options. Uh, first, you could refer the patient back to their family doctor. Second, you could network with an approved prescriber. Maybe it's someone in